Batman's Eyes by Dave Matthews is going to be played in standard tuning, and I would say that this is a pretty advanced song. A lot of very intricate picking going on, single pick notes, and then some kind of odd strumming patterns. The intro... Um, Dave Matthews appears to be barring his first finger on the seventh fret of strings five and four, and he's picking uh, the four string and then putting his first finger down on the five string eight fret and then lifting his second finger to expose where his first finger is on the five string seven fret. So you get, and you would pick that E note one, two, three times and repeat. So that repeats, I think, three times. One, two. So on the, th on the third time, you've got to change. So on the third time it goes, that is five string seven fret to second finger on the five string eight fret to first finger on the four string six fret to second finger on the four string seven fret so we've got and then so after you put your second finger down sorry I was having to remember the riff after you put your second finger down on the four string seven fret you then lift back to your first finger on the four string six fret and then go with your second finger down to the five string eight fret and then terminate back down into the five string seventh fret with your first finger and strike it three times. Now in this rhythm, it's just mostly down picks, but you can hear a percussive feel as well of kind of slapping the strings like. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just lifting my right hand and then slapping back down on the strings. several times and then we get to the verse the last time it repeats it will go back to first finger on the four string six fret to four string seven fret and then start playing an A chord the A chord of the verse will be an open five string first finger on the four string uh, four string seven fret pinky finger on the three string nine fret and this is just straight down strums. Down, 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 down. But you can hear some emphasis on like down, 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 down. That's what it is. Now sometimes in this E chord you can flesh out that chord a little bit more by putting the octave on it. So first finger on the five string seven fret, pinky finger on the three string nine fret. Also as Dave Matthews gets further into the song, I feel like the that part quits being so much just one, two, three and more of a like a down, down, up, down. I'm going a down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down on an E chord. Then more riff. 
Um, whenever we get to the pre-chorus, the pre-chorus will go, it leads in to a D chord. It leads in with a walk-in notes, though, of octave notes, first finger on the five string, eight fret, pinky finger on the three string, 10 fret, then slide down both of those fingers one fret so that your first finger is on the five string seven fret and your pinky finger is on the three string nine fret and all you want ringing out is the five and the three string here use the rest of your fingers to kind of mute the the strings and then you fall down to a d chord uh, first finger on the five string five fret now it's okay if the uh, four string rings out in the middle and pinky finger on the three string seventh fret. Now, Dave Matthews seems to be mostly just down strumming here, but if you want to kind of get the down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. I've already forgotten the rhythm. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. I think is mostly gets you through this D, and then it goes to an A chord. Well, a version of an A chord. It's hard to hear Dave's guitar here, but I think that he just takes this D and slides it down one fret, the first finger being on the five string four fret and the pinky finger being on the three string six fret and just plays that C sharp basically. But if you're playing straight acoustic guitar, it makes sense to flesh out the rest of this chord, which the rest of the band is kind of playing it as an A and take your second finger and put it down on the six string five fret and play it like the first chord of say goodbye and then back to this D now this D again in uh, the interest of trying to flesh out sounds on an acoustic guitar if you're playing the solo you can keep playing it like Dave Matthews if you want to and just play those octave chords I would recommend fleshing out the A chord and then maybe instead of just playing this octave D play it as a D minor because that's what the, the full scope of the chord is a D minor uh, and play it as if it's the first chord of two-step. Ring finger on the six string 10 fret, pinky finger on the three string 10 fret, first finger on the five string eight fret. Open four string between them. So you've got that D minor chord into the A chord. Repeat D minor chord into the A chord is the pre-chorus. Now, uh, in the intro to this tutorial, in the last A chord, I mimicked uh, a pattern of chords. I, mim I used a pattern of chords that mimicked what the bass was doing because in this last chord right here where Dave Matthews is just playing like octave C sharp, the bass is going. Before getting into the... So the way that I mimic that, if you want to do the same thing, is to play this A chord right here, uh, the way that Say Goodbye begins. Uh, second finger on the six string, five fret. First finger on the four string, uh, I'm sorry, first finger on the five string, four fret. And open uh, four string. And pinky finger on the three string, six fret. And then, so, kind of one, two, three hits on that, and then take your ring finger and put it down on the four string five fret. That's turning it into a seven chord. And then I take my ring second and first fingers off of the fretboard, but I'll leave my pinky finger where it is on the three string six fret. And my ring finger comes back down on the six string five fret. My second finger comes back down on the five string four fret, and my first finger now is on the uh, four string three fret. So what I'm doing is I'm moving 
those series of notes inside of the A chord and hit that one, two, three times. And then for the last of the uh, round, I lower my first finger down one fret so that it hits that E note of the fourth string two fret. And you get the mimic of the that the bass does. into the chorus. Now in the chorus Dave Matthews quits playing guitar. What I'm playing here is what I feel like is intuitive based off of what the progression is doing and trying to mimic some of what the bass is doing. So I'm playing an A chord, barring with my first finger, um, the the second fret of strings four and three. I really don't want the I don't want it to be really major or minor, so I'm not letting the two string ring out a whole lot, but I've got an open five string and then the second fret of strings four and three barred with my first finger. Um, the rhythm here also is kind of wonky. It moves to a maybe a half time or maybe it's some sort of a three beat, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what the time signature is doing here, but it's like a chunk, 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 chunk. out of the A chord with my second finger, I leave this bar position in position, I leave this bar in position the whole time. I move out of the A to the sixth string three fret with my second finger, and then I grab with my thumb the sixth string one fret, and then back to the sixth string three fret with my second finger, and then back to the A, so that you're going. is what you're doing. Um, and then the second round, it goes five string three fret, five string two fret, to five string open. That's the walk down I'm just doing with my second finger, five string three, five string two, five string open. So, um, in that chorus, the second time through it's just, it's just the A chord to the hit of the G back to the A chord and then the walk down again from the C, and then A, G to the F sharp, to the G to the A, to the G to the F sharp, to the walk down, to the A, to the G, uh, to the A, to the G to the A again. And then we get the last, I and mean, I'm sorry that that was probably very unclear. To be honest, that rhythm is hard to articulate with my hands and definitely hard to articulate with words. Uh, it's something that I just sat down and I played that chorus about uh, for 30 minutes just trying to get the feel right and I, I suspect it's something that um, playing you would just have to get the feel right for as well. So the last series of riffs. first finger on the 6th string 7th fret, and our second finger will be stretching to the 5th string 9th fret. So we strike 6, 5, and then with our ring finger go to the 5th string 10th fret. Um, so 6, 5, ring finger down now to the 5 string 10 fret and your 2nd finger needs to move to the 4 string 8 fret, I'm sorry, 9 fret. So you've got and then back with your ring finger to the 5 string 10 fret then back down to the 5 string 9 fret and then you've got 
repeat some of that. So you go with your second finger to the uh, four string nine fret and then ring finger to the four string ten fret. repeat and then um, first finger to the three string seven fret second finger to the four string nine fret ring finger to the four string ten fret so that you get So first round, very slowly. Second round. Third round. Fourth round. Then what is this fifth round? That again, and then so that last round it begins with the standard riff, and then second finger to the uh, four string nine fret ring finger to the 4 string 10 fret, 1st finger to the 4 string 7 fret, 2nd finger to the 4 string 9 fret, ring finger to the 5 string 10 fret, 1st finger to the 4 string 7 fret, 2nd finger to the 5 string 9 fret, ring finger to the 5 string 10 fret, 1st finger to the 5 string 7 fret, 2nd finger to the 5 string 9 fret, and then we begin the normal riff cycle of so very slowly that last time would be feels unintuitive is that right after this note your brain has to get back into chunk 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 just does that again. Super long tutorial, probably very confusing. I just learned the song, but that's definitely the way it's getting played, the parts that Dave Matthews is playing, and then some of my own takes uh, of how to flesh those chords out. So those are the chords and the movements to Madman's Eyes by Dave Matthews. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.